Hi there everyone, Chris here from 2vape.com and I'm pretty excited to show you uh, the biggest and baddest mod I've come across yet here at 2vape. It's the Dreadnought Clone. We just got these in stock and they're listed up on the site now. Um, this thing is a pure monster. It's a 26650 hybrid mechanical mod. Uh, so there's no 510 pin. You actually press the battery straight into the bottom of the atomizer, which screws into the top. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get it opened up here. I'm going to show you guys just a quick tour of all the bits and pieces. I already have a coil built in here. We'll fill it up with some juice and give it a demo. All right, we'll start at the top. Uh, the drip tip. This is included. It's a nice 510 drip tip that fits the look and feel of the mod very well. Wide bore. Uh, the top of the atomizer. That will unscrew to re, uh, whenever you need to refill it. This is how you'll get in there to add your juice to your wick. Right now I have it wicked uh, and coiled with a dual coil setup around 0.2 ohms. Uh, I'm using some rayon wick from Nick over at Dog Mods. He just sent that to me to try. Uh, it's pretty cool, a little different than cotton, just something different to work with. Uh, on top we have the airflow control next. This is a nice little system. There's two slots and you could rotate this to open and close them. Again, since the two coils are on the same side, that's why you have that set like that. It just slides right off. There's the outer shell of the atomizer, the tank walls. That just comes off. You just lift it. And then here's the actual coil setup. It's a standard three post design, one positive, two negative. I have a dual coil, like I said, wicked up with the rayon. Uh, it's a pretty huge atomizer in there being a 26650, so uh, once that gets juiced, it'll settle down a little bit. So here's where it gets interesting. Now we actually unscrew the atomizer. When you look at the bottom there, there's no, you know, no 510 connection. That just screws right into the tube where the battery goes. So our 26650 battery is going to press right up on there. Give us a great connection and an awesome vape. Uh, the, tube, the tube continues to disassemble. Uh, we'll just take that off and that comes off right at the bottom. Here's the firing button. Now this is a great firing button. It's recessed or I should say it has the little bits around the edge. Uh, you can set it down anywhere. It won't fire. It has a very short throw. And it's super smooth. It's a great firing button. You could reach right around, hit it with the pinky, no problem. Okay, let's go ahead and put it all back together. Put the battery in, put the juice in, and see how it vapes. Base. Next up is the tube. Then we can go ahead and put on the brass accent piece. Try to get that nice and lined up. Okay. Let me go with the top. And now for the battery, I'm using the EFest 26650. This is 3500 mAh. It's a 32 amp continuous discharge. Works great with the 0.2 ohm dual coil setup I have here. Go ahead and put that in there. Ah, battery goes in before. There we are. And now we can go ahead and put the atomizer all on. So you see, once the, once you push the button there, the battery lifts up just a little bit. Let's get it connect right to the bottom. Go ahead and attach. So we're going to want to line up these two air holes with the two coils. Easy enough. Just presses on. Let's make sure they're lined up. See if we can see the coils peeking through. All right, sweet. This is going to be good. I'm I'm pretty excited to try this out now. And then we'll put the airflow control on top. Now that's a little loose, but I don't think it really should be an issue. Uh, you see with the battery in there, it's not completely flush at the moment. That can uh, that can be adjusted by taking the ring here up or down, just unscrewing it a little bit. And let's go ahead and put some juice in and see how it vapes. Now, we just got some new juice in over at Two Vapes. It's the Obsession line from the creators of Space Jam. 
and it's pretty delicious. So uh, I've been kind of vaping on it hard the past couple days. Right now we're going to go with, let's see, whatever we have more of because this thing takes a ton of juice. Uh, let's go with Power, which is a little Bavarian cream and dragon fruit mix. Shake that up nice. And so we have a lot of wicking material to fill up here. I'm just going to drip a little bit on. And honestly, I think it's going to be quicker to pour it right out of the bottle. It's because it's going to take so much. So let me see here. Go ahead and just fill it up. Wow. That is quite a juice well. Okay. Have a look in there. Got everything. It looks pretty well saturated. I'll go ahead and put the top on. Fire it up. Well, let's give it a little test. Oh. Ooh. Vapey. Okay. Here we go. The Dreadnought 26650. Huge hybrid mechanical mod. That's awesome. Look at that. Can you hear it sizzling? All right. It's pretty heavy with the battery in there. I got to say it's it's a hefty beast now and you know, I feel like you could really do some damage with this if you ever needed to. It sets down perfect. Dreadnought 26650. Come on by 2Vape, check it out. We have the batteries, we have the mods and the charger, everything you need. And let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have used a 26650 mod before, what do you guys think? Thanks again and have a great night. Vape on.